We discussed quite in depth early on with JMO and Danny Mills about Jose Mourinho being let go by Tottenham after just 17 months in charge. Are you surprised by the timing? Because surely you want the charismatic Portuguese in charge ahead yeah. of a cup final this weekend against City. Well, a little bit surprised, but knowing, knowing Daniel Levy, I'd have to say no, because when I was playing at um, Tottenham, when Daniel Levy took over from Alan Sugar, the first week he came in, he decided it was a good idea to sack George Graham and, and put in charge Glenn Hoddle. And it was a week of an FA Cup semi-final against none other than Arsenal at Old Trafford. So once he decides he wants to make a decision, that's why I like about Daniel. He doesn't beat around the bush. He just gets it done. So he's decided he wanted to make a change. He doesn't care. It's obvious now to everyone that Jose Mourinho has not been brought into that football club to win the Carabao Cup. He's been brought into the football club to get him into the top four. Now, they're only five points off of it, and I'll say only. The problem they've got is that Chelsea are chasing that prize, so are Liverpool, and then Everton are chasing as well. You've got Leicester, who I feel buoyed by that um, FA Cup uh, final, what you're going to see will stay in there now. Leicester have been brilliant. Um, and West Ham, uncharacteristically up there, but with this amount of games to go... It's going to be difficult for them to drop out of it. Yeah. Jamo, do you have any questions for Tim here? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, Tim's pretty much answered it properly there. I say properly in, uh, in, a, in a very uh, logical way because, you know, there is no guarantee that Tottenham are going to finish in the top five and forget all this European Super League talk. This is about now, today and, and this season and what Tottenham can achieve. And you said West Ham there, Tim. Of course, I'm, I'm going to side with West Ham more than any other teams in there. Um, but they're proving a stubborn obstacle to move. So, I mean, Tim, I suppose the logical question is, and I don't know if you have an answer from personal experience, but, um, you know, who do you think they're looking, or do you think Daniel Levy would have already lined up someone to take that position? It's very unlikely that he hasn't lined anyone up. I think majority of the time, certainly from the experiences I've seen with Daniel, he's normally, he doesn't crash the plane without going for the life jacket first. Yeah. So I think he's probably got someone lined up. Now, whether that's at the end of the season, probably more likely. Um, it's going to be a big ask for someone. But then again, when you think about it, five points off, you know, Champions League, Europa League, if they cannot take um, Champions League, he will take Europa League. They have to be in Europe at some capacity. And it's a big ask. Who's available? You know, so it might, he wouldn't want to give it to anyone by default just because they're available if he doesn't believe they're the right person for the long term. But I always say with managers, you don't know until they come into your football club whether they're the right person. He obviously felt one of the most famous managers in the world of football in Jose Mourinho, who was available at the time, was going to be the right person. Now, everyone from the outside, including myself, was saying, this is not going to work. This is not a marriage made in heaven. And I proved to be right in the end. But Jose's left a fantastic legacy in the Premier League. I think we've seen the end of him, guys, in the Premier League. Really? Because this, well, this where's is... he going to go? Where's he yeah. going to go now? This is Jose, something I... he only manages big football clubs. It's impossible for him to go to Arsenal. I don't think there's a club left for him to go to and manage who, who want to take Jose Mourinho now. I think he possibly will have another job in him. But I would see it being a national team manager somewhere. Something which we touched on in the earlier part of the show as well. The Portugal job, maybe. Maybe, who knows, the England job. We have about a minute left of you, Tim. So, a quick comment. We're talking about Europe, Spurs needing to be in it. Might they be banned? The European Super League, do you reckon it's going to happen? What are no, your I don't think there's any legs in it whatsoever. I, I mean, it's obviously more than just a cup of tea around the table. There, there have obviously been some secret meetings there. Um, I don't think it will happen. No, I think there will be so much dissent against it. Um, I think in the end, for the good of football, it will not happen. All right. Thank you very much for your time. We really, really appreciate Pleasure. it. We'll speak to you again very, very soon.